Okay, so a viewer has asked if the Queen will attend Prince Philip's memorial service in person. So that's what the video is going to be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It makes an awful big difference. And thank you very, very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, it seems to kind of be resolved that the Queen's going to be there, but I mean, let's ask the question just to see what the cards say about that. And so that's what uh, this will uh, this video will be about. So let's see how this goes. Journeys into the Light asks, um, for Prince Philip's Memorial Service, will uh, Queen Elizabeth the second attend in person. Will Queen Elizabeth attend Prince Philip's memorial service? Interesting. I mean, there's been a lot of talk about it, and uh, there seem to be perhaps some plans to make that happen. But I mean, anything can happen at the last minute. So let's see. Journeys into the Light asks Prince Philip's memorial service. Will the Queen attend? But before we do that, have just a moment of meditation. Okay. Okay, will the Queen be at Prince Philip? I mean, I can't imagine that she wouldn't. Wouldn't you think that's the one thing she will just move heaven and earth to be at to honor prince philip so let's see how this reads journeys thank you for asking the question okay, the cards seem to be loosening up a little bit now will prince philip's memorial will the queen be able to attend prince philip's memorial will the queen be able to attend. Will she? Will she be there? Six cards. I think that might do it. We'll see. Okay, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Will the queen attend Prince Philip's? Memorial service. Can't imagine she wouldn't. Okay. Okay. So the signifier card for this is going to be the Page of Cups. Okay, so the page is the messenger. Cups are emotions, compassion, love. And uh, this page, it's very interesting here, uh, takes me back. Um, uh, this uh, handsome young man is bringing this little, uh, sweet little uh, uh, message uh, forward of love. This is Prince Philip. Uh, because they were so young when they fell in love. The um, challenge to that, will she be there? Is this five of swords? Yeah. The Five of Swords, uh, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the Five of Swords is a, is a you know, it's typically called an abuse of power, but it really speaks to uh, really pushing something to the limit. Uh, truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, really taking that to the nth degree. And uh, in this case, uh, this is a struggle. And it even looks as if these people, what are they uh, leaned over here? Uh, this almost looks uh, like a funerary sort of arrangement. I don't know that it is, but that's the challenge. So um, the sweet uh, page is bringing forth the message uh, of, of compassion. And he's challenged by uh, this five of swords, which is just, um, you know, an abuse of, of maybe of health, perhaps. The base of this reading, then, is the lovers. How sweet. Uh, this is the major arcana. This is number six. And this shows, um, yeah, in fact, they were 
of each other's life love, obviously. The past of this reading, and that's the base of the whole thing, and the past of this reading is the Ace of Swords, and again, truth, justice, rules, law. And it can be a medicine or medical, too, this, uh, these swords. And, and I think that's what we're talking about here with this Five of Swords, really just a difficult medical situation. And with this Ace of Swords in the back, this is a great big offer of, of help, okay, of that justice, of that truth, okay. And in the sky of this reading, as whether the Queen will, will attend, um, is this... Eight of coins. Okay, coins are value, and the eight of coins is really practicing uh, this thing until you get it exactly right. And uh, I wouldn't doubt that the queen is actually practicing, perhaps, uh, her moves, you know, uh, walking. How far can I go today? How far can I go tomorrow? Can I build myself up to this event? That's really touching. And uh, the, um, the final outcome of this, then, as to whether she will attend, is this uh, page of coins. So... Again, the page is a messenger, uh, and coins are value, and uh, as important as this is, um, this is a reminder from this page of how much he loves her, from uh, him in this, uh, incarnated into this card, value. Just to let her know, you know, the value of getting this done, it's important, but it's very small compared to the value of her continuing her journey. Love that. Um, let's do four more cards. Um, this seems... Uh, to be kind of a compassionate message uh, to the queen uh, to say, you know, as much as I love you, it's not worth everything just to uh, use up all your energy for this. The um, very self of that question as to whether uh, the queen will attend. Okay. This is in this uh, three cups. So this is uh, uh, cups of compassion, emotions, uh, celebrations. And this is a group uh, effort here. Uh, these folks are celebrating in unison. So I think everything's being done uh, for the queen uh, to make this happen in unison with someone with lots of uh, compassion, understanding how important it is. And uh, it's in the environment of this five of cups. And the five of cups is uh, typically displayed as uh, three cups spilled, two cups up, and the person really kind of worrying about the cups that they've spilled. And uh, that is the environment that this is in, you know. It's a, it's a, a, re a union of some folks trying to get it done uh, for, with her. And um, it's in the environment of, the, you know, looking at what she's lost and how little she has left in her strength arena. Okay. Now, the uh, hopes and the fears for that. Well, this is a difficult card to get out. Uh, this is the... Um, Chariot, hopes and the fears, the chariot. Yeah, the things are, are happening fast now, and uh, that, that this could hasten that, or this this is in that road uh, of, of things going quickly uh, right now. And then the uh, final outcome, I think we'll take it from right here. Uh, for everything, is the hierophant. <laughs> yeah, it's the monarchy. The final outcome is that what's important in all of this is the monarchy, um, and she will take that uh, uh, right into the grave. That that's the most important thing to deal with here. Interesting. I think she'll attend. She has all this. Uh, let's read it again. So uh, the uh, signifier card is this page of cups, which is just a sweet uh, messenger, uh, this page saying, listen, this is how much I, I care about you. I, I love you. Remember that we were young. We're together. And then the uh, challenge to it, though, is this five of swords, just this abuse of a medical condition. And then the, uh, pe the base of the whole thing with these lovers and look how beautiful they were. And uh, that's the base of the whole effort. Uh, the uh, past of this reading with this Ace of Swords just tell us, you know, this is a great big help. This is kind of a medical push that she may be getting. And then the um, uh, sky of this reading with this Eight of Coins is uh, what she's doing right now. She's practicing to make this thing happen. And then the um, likely outcome of the first part of that with this Page of Coins, just this page coming back to say, listen, this is important, but remember, there are other things that are more important than this. Okay, and then now this it makes the whole second part of this message make even more sense because the uh, self of that question, uh, is she going to be there, is all the help she's getting, all the compassion, emotion, and help with this Three of Cups, she's getting to make it happen. And it's in the environment of uh, this Five of Cups, which is just, you know, worrying about what you've lost and, you know, what you, little, how little you have left. Uh, in the uh, hopes and the fears of this chariot that things are moving fast, and this may hasten the, the, um, the end, I guess. And then the... Um, Final outcome, of course, that what's most important is the monarchy, the Hierophant. So, very interesting uh, read. 
Well, now we know what the cards said, and let's see how this pans out in real life. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now, hang on. Okay, so this is the newest edition. This is uh, the second time I purchased from this group, uh, and uh, the, these cards are called Revival Art Tarot Second Edition. And uh, they're from Taracho uh, Studios, which you can see right here. And they come to me, for, I think it's from Russia via the Netherlands, but uh, they're a lot of money, and um, but they're beautiful cards, and you'll see. So they come in a very typical little cardboard box, no big deal there at all. Um, then the um, instruction booklet, again, is not uh, anything to write home about. It's just a typical little instruction booklet. The one good thing is that it is easily uh, read, and uh, in the uh, regular, uh, in the lower arcana cards, they've got an extra card in each uh, suit. So you know, you've got cups, wands, swords, and uh, I can never think of the forward suit off the top of my head, uh, pinnacles. Uh, but so you, they go all the way to the ten of, of swords, for instance. The next one then should be a page, but here we have a princess of swords. And then after the princess of swords, you still get the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. So you have one extra card for each of those four suits. So instead of 78, uh, 79, uh, 80, 81, 82 cards total in the pack. So that's interesting. So if, if that princess um, confused you, you could just take those four cards out and use them for some special occasion or never use them at all, or put them in there. And uh, this gives you an idea of how to divine the extra card. Uh, so very interesting. Then the cards themselves, they're really good stock. Uh, once you get them broken in, and what I mean by that is, you know, when they come off uh, production, they're really pressed together, and there's no air between the cards, and you can't hardly get between them. So it takes a little bit of shuffling and, and getting them uh, some air between the cards uh, before they're usable, really, and, uh, and not sticking to each other. And then the back of them is beautiful, and I haven't discovered anything particularly unusual about the back, um, except maybe until this very minute. Let's see. If you have the cards this way, you'll notice that there's a very small little rose right here. So if you see that small rose here up at the right hand corner, then you know this card is going to be upright as it should. However, if this card was inverted, that small little rose becomes two roses. Okay, so if you see it, two roses up here rather than one, then you know that card is going to be inverted. So that's the example. Uh, I like knowing that. I don't know. It just gives you a little edge uh, when you're dealing the cards. And now I can straighten them out and not have to turn it over. I know that this, this is uh, inverted and this is straight. Now, to look at this art is amazing. And each one of these is a work of art that's referenced in the guidebook. For instance, uh, if I look at this uh, Fool, number one, with a major arcana, and it tells me that the Fool uh, is, in fact, the name of that piece of art is called A Jester by Philippe Mercier. And, um, and then it gives me the uh, divination for the card. Uh, beginnings, uh, possibilities, pleasure, etc. The next card, The Magician, if you were to see that one, that is a work of art called The Astronomer by uh, Candlelight, The Astronomer by Candlelight, and it's by, I guess it's going to be Gary Du. So uh, my foreign pronunciations aren't very good, but I do give it a try. So the cards themselves, you can see they go right to the edge of the card. They're beautiful pieces of art, and thought has gone into choosing these cards for the um, uh, position they stand for. The one thing uh, that's not uh, evidence, for instance, um, they're not always um, clear that, for instance, a two of pentacles is a two of pentacles. It might not have two pentacles on the card to tell you that. So they're a little um, interesting there. You should kind of look through the cards and understand what each one stands for first. But I mean, look at them. They are absolutely beautiful and it always feels to me like uh, intention has gone into making the selections of these actual pieces of art before uh, they uh, turn them into uh, tarot cards and I like that and I think you like them too. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.